Libra, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Libra, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Libra, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you're interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, let's dive right in. First card, Eight of Wands. This is beautiful. Right here, the angels and guides are letting you know that there is some sort of travel on the horizon for you. During this travel, you're going to get some downloads, insights, clarities. It's smooth sailing. That the answers that you're seeking will come to you. Look at that. Next card, Wheel of Fortune 2. These are both travel cards. This is happening soon. You know, the answers that you're seeking will be given... <laughs> Three of Wands next. This is crazy. All three of these travel cards. So Libra, oh, should I pull another travel card? Libra, something very, very good is about to happen right now. You are going to go on some sort of travel. On this travel, you're going to get insights, downloads, and clarities. The answers that you get from spirit during this time is going to help change your life. This happened to me all the time, right? The Ace of Wands movement. So for example, like there, but there was times where I was trying to figure out life, right? I didn't know what to do. I was kind of just, you know, I hit a roadblock. We had some ups and downs. And, you know, I was efforting and forcing uh, things and trying to make it happen. And I remember my wife said, listen, we got to get out of here. We got to go camping, right? Let's just go camping, clear our minds. And at the time, I'm like, oh, it doesn't make sense. You know, camping, now it's not the right time. And she's like, actually, it's the exact time you want to go to clear your mind. We went camping and I remember I had so many downloads, insights, clarities because I surrendered and I let go, right? I finally let go. And when you let go, that's when the downloads come because your vibration of holding on is right here. When you surrender and let go, your vibration is neutral and baseline and that's when the universe can actually gift you your desires and that's what's happening for you. Now, you got the Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, the Moon, interesting right there. Empress, Ten of Wands, King of Pentacles, the higher fan, Six of Pentacles, loving that. Ten of Cups, yes, please. Then you got the Five of Wands and the Ace of Swords, loving this energy so far. Now, Libra, your affirmation for today is I am open to love. Write that down in the comment section. I am open to love, quantum entangle with this energy. Let your angels and guides know you are open to love. Welcome, command, assume, expect this energy into your life. I am open to love. Write that down in the comment section. Now, speaking of love, it's like, does it get better than this? You got the two of cups and the ten of cups. So it's like, wow, you're definitely magnetic, definitely attracting all the right things. And right now, special somebody who has that same energy as you is entering your life. So it's like, you know, when you are shining, when you're doing you, you're attracting all the right things in your life. Right now, your angels and guides are telling you to look for more synergistic energy in your life. The fact that you got the king and queen of pentacles here, your angels are telling you to look for some synergistic energy. Like, don't settle. Right now, someone who has the same fundamentals, ethics, same principles, same, really the same, you know, moral compass. You know what I mean? Like, just that you guys are two peas in the same pot. Like, I, this is the energy that you and your soul may have, you and your kindred spirit have. Right now, your angels and guys are bringing you guys together. So don't feel like you have to be settling or don't feel like right now, even if you're currently in a relationship, like don't just, you know, tell yourself this is what it is. No, no, you guys can get, you guys can ascend and take it to the next level. So don't give up there or don't just, you know, tell yourself, I'll, I'll live with this. No, don't do that. Now, you got the five of wands, which is very interesting. And the 10 of wands, your angels are telling you to not put so much pressure on yourself. If some of you feel like you have been telling yourself, I should have done this. Why did I do this? Why did I not do this? I shouldn't have done this. All that stuff. Like you're supposed to be some mind reader. You know what I mean? Like you're supposed to be perfect. Even robots, even chat GPT is not perfect, right? So it's like, we're human. And matter of fact, not only are you human, but on top of that, you're supposed to experience contrast. Right? How do you know what hot is if you haven't tried cold? How do you know what sour is if you haven't tried sweet? How do you know what joy is if you haven't had pain? Now, we obviously, we don't want to stay in pain for long, but when you experience it, you tell yourself, what happened? Ah, that's pain. This person cheated on me or this business failed. Uh-oh, don't like this energy. All right, how do I get out of here? Keyword, how do I get out of here, right? Don't want to stay there for forever. All right, well, what am I doing here? I'm here on planet Earth learning stuff. Great, what was the lesson? Ah, I see, when there's smoke, there's fire. Shouldn't have done this, shouldn't have done that. Okay, what would I do differently next time? I would do this different. What would I do the same? I would do this the same. Great, 
time to move on and read the next book. You know what I mean? And that's what's going on in life right now. The angels and guides are telling you that the moment you let go, it's like so many good things will come your way. And the only way you can let go is really tapping into your higher self. Remember, you have you, the soul that's in this avatar. When you look in the mirror, don't look at your avatar. That avatar is a car, okay? Who's driving the car? Who's in the car, right? Who's the driver? That's your soul. Your soul, your higher self is literally in the fifth dimension and it's almost like it's, it's guiding you and you, you have a part of your, your, your higher self here, but it's like you're not really here. So it's like don't expect to be perfect. Don't expect to not make mistakes. Don't expect to like somehow, some way, just like coast through life and this and that. Like when things happen, they happen and then move on. Because the reason I'm saying this is like, there is some sort of limiting belief or shadow that is actually holding you back. It's causing an energetic roadblock. And unless this energy is cleared, no new opportunities are coming, especially when it comes to that travel. You are meant to be going out and about, surrendering, let go and experiencing life. Right now, your angels and guides are trying to deliver you a message, tell you exactly what to do. Having your, your angels and guides have your back, it is the best thing in the world. Imagine having GPS in the car, right? You know exactly where to go and this is what's happening. Insights and downloads and clarities. Without your angels and guides, you know what it's like? It's like pressing the gas pedal and the brake pedal at the same time and just doing donuts. So right now your angels and guides are telling you, they're trying to call you, for example. You need reception. What does reception mean? You just gotta get your frequency to their frequency. Right now the opportunity that I see that they're trying to tell you is something financial, something that is going to give you more than enough. Like the Six of Pentacles is about having more than enough. And right now with all those travel cards, it's like, I would be very, very excited. So. How do you get yourself in a, in a neutral vibration? Or better yet, high vibration. Happy thoughts, simple as pie, happy thoughts, right? How you think and how you feel creates your state of being. So now you have the option of being on planet Earth and being caught up with Instagram likes, fear, your boss being mad at you, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Or you have the option of being like, listen, I am here to win and I don't want to lose. And right now, all I want to do is make sure that my energy is in a high vibration so I don't have the luxury of feeling negative thoughts, right? Yet you have to instill a will greater than the programming. The programming wants you to be scared. My programming wants me to be scared. My programming wants me to wake up in the morning and immediately be like, oh, food, shelter, finances, oh, 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 right? Caveman days, that's, that's, that's our DNA, protect yourself. Oh no, that's like the now, instead of protect yourself, it's like Instagram likes and emails, right? It's like, oh my goodness. So you have to be aware of this and be like, uh-oh, this is not what I'm looking for. This isn't gonna help me in my life. And then instill a will greater than the programming and really art of war Sun Tzu, the exact opposite of what your enemy wants. So if the ego wants you to be in fear, be in love. So for example, rather than wake up and be scared, wake up and be grateful, be, wake up and be thankful, wake up and you know listen to a podcast, wake up and do a little meditation, wake up and do a little journaling, wake up, do a little exercise, stay busy, focus, right? Good things will come. All right, now your animal spirit is my favorite. Look at her, oh my goodness. Doesn't she look like Alicia? Doesn't she look like my wife? Oh my goodness. So this is about freedom is yours, which is the universe is letting you know right now, the unit. This is your life, right? Because of free will, your angels and guides, like for example, they are the GPS in the car, but they cannot make you drive the car. They can't make you wake up early. They can't make you be positive. They can't make you think, you know, happy thoughts. They can't do any of that and they won't. But this is, that's when we do it, right? That's when you do this. And right now the freedom is yours, but you gotta remember like, it's a choice to be rich. It's a birthright, but it's also a choice, like breathing air. It's my birthright, no one can tell me not to do it, but it's also a choice, right? I have to actually want to breathe air, and that's what's going on here, right? Just, the angels are telling you to focus on the abundance. Now, let's see what we got. Ooh, one of my favorite cards. Look at this final message from your spirit guides, acceptance of love, and this is about the divine masculine and the feminine. It's such a beautiful message. So right now the message is, all right, so this image is a representation of harmony of opposites, masculine and feminine. You have the ability to give love freely to yourself and to others. It is important to understand that you are whole, complete, and perfect now and will enhance the life of another. Know who you are, know what you bring to the table. You have so many good qualities. Love yourself, Libra. Remember, you, anyone would be honored. Anyone would be grateful to be in your presence, right? You don't have a bad bone in your body. You're a beautiful empath, always trying to help everyone. Beauty is an energy. And understand that every Everyone wants to be around, be around your magnetic energy when you are magnetic and doing you and being your genuine authentic self, keyword authentic self. So 
Wear your hair the way you want. Wear your nails the way you want. Wear the clothes you wear the way you want. Wear your suit and tie the way you want if you're a fella like me, right? Just do whatever you want and don't feel like you have to people please. And that's something us empaths got to work on. Don't feel like you got people please. Just do you and everyone will follow that energy of abundance and gladly be around your energy. All right, Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.